This video will help you focus on specific answers, this time in random order. The civics test is an oral test and you will be asked up to 10 of the 100 questions. You must answer six out of the 10 questions correctly to pass the test. Remember, there are 100 civics questions and answers for the U.S. naturalization test. So let's get started. When was the Constitution written? Seventeen eighty seven. Who is the father of our country? Washington. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Jefferson. What did Susan B. Anthony do? She fought for women's rights. Who was the president during the Great Depression and World War II? Roosevelt. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? He fought for civil rights. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? U.S. Diplomat. Who was president during World War I? Wilson. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Freed the slaves. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? World War II. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Nancy Pelosi. Pelosi. How many U.S. Senators are there? One hundred. How many amendments does the Constitution have? Twenty-seven. What do we call the first ten amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. What is the rule of law? Everyone must follow the law. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Two. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. 
When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4th, 1776. Who was the first president? Washington. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. J. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Slavery. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? Civil rights. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Life and liberty. Who is in charge of the executive branch? The President. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? Four hundred thirty five. What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? To obey the laws of the United States. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? Pacific. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? Provide schooling and education. Name one branch or part of the government. Congress. Name one right only for United States citizens. Vote in a federal election. There were 13 original states. Name three. New Hampshire, New York, New Jersey. What does the Constitution do? It sets up the government. What does the judicial branch do? It explains laws. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Freed the slaves. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because of the state's population. What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. Name one U.S. territory. Puerto Rico. Why does the flag have 13 stripes?
because there were 13 original colonies. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? The separation of powers. What is one reason colonists came to America? For freedom. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Vote or join a political party? Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. The Mississippi. Name one state that borders Mexico. California. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and House. What did the Declaration of Independence do? It said that the United States is free. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Any citizen can vote. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. The Civil War. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Democratic and Republican. What is the economic system in the United States? Capitalist economy. Why did the colonists fight the British? Because of high taxes. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Navajo. If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The Speaker of the House. What are two cabinet level positions? Secretary of Defense, Secretary of Energy. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Religion. Who did the United States fight in World War II? Japan, Germany, and Italy. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The vice president. What does the president's cabinet do? advises the president. 
who makes federal laws? Congress. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Freedom of speech. Freedom of religion. What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? Terrorists attacked the United States. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? To print money. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Louisiana. Who is the commander in chief of the military? The president. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Communism. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? All the people of the state. What is an amendment? A change. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? The Atlantic Ocean. Name two national U.S. holidays. President's Day, Memorial Day. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War I. What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Six. Where is the Statue of Liberty? In New York. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens. To vote in a federal election. Name one state that borders Canada. Alaska. In what month do we vote for president? November. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there are 50 states. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South.
the Civil War. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Constitution was written. Who signs bills to become laws? The President. How old do citizens have to be to vote for President? Eighteen and older. When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4th. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. When must all men register for the Selective Service? At age 18. Who vetoes bills? The President. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? Native Americans. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? People from Africa. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? April 15th. We elect a president for how many years? Four. What is the political party of the president now? Democratic. What is the name of the President of the United States now? Biden. What is the name of the Vice President of the United States now? Harris. Name your U.S. representative. Again, answers will vary here. Who is one of your state's U.S. senators now? Answers here will vary. What is the capital of your state? Answer, answers will vary here again. Who is the governor of your state now? Answers will vary here as well. And that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you all did well.